Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to RVs with Gabby. My name is Gabby. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. And if you're coming back, thank you for subscribing. Today, we're taking a look at one of the brand new Seismic Luxury Series behind me. This is the 3512. This baby is massive. It's gonna sit at about 42 feet in length and you're almost 15,000 pounds dry. Now new for 22, I do wanna point out next to me is the regular Seismic, and now you also have the Seismic Luxury. But one of the big features on the exterior is they did upgrade you to H uh, rated Uniroyal tires. So if you get a 22 or before, you're in the G rated um, Goodyear tires. For 23, they've moved to the H rated Uniroyal tires. So that's a big feature on the exterior of the Seismic that you'll notice for 2023. Starting in the front, I really love that the Luxury Series is gonna give you two upgrades. You're gonna get the automotive bonded windshield, which is a really nice view from the inside of that bedroom right over your um, headboard basically is the, is the window. You can see the regular Seismic does not have that. And second is gonna be, if you look at the Seismic Luxury, I've got the upgraded Moride pin box. Now this is gonna give you three inches of play to reduce that bucking and chucking. You've got an inch and a half forward and an inch and a half back. So huge upgrade on the front here. You definitely need a heavy duty truck to pull this. So I would check with your local dealer or you can contact us here at Orlando Blue Compass to ask us about um, what you need to pull this baby. But another, op another uh, standard equipment that's really big is gonna be your 5,500 watt Onan generator. This is propane generator, okay? It's gonna be able to run everything on your unit. Now this is a big, big unit. So it's a 50 amp service. Um, you are loaded with three ACs. So you have two Whisper Quiet 15K ACs, and you also have a third one that they dropped in the cargo as an optional. All 15 will run on a 50 amp service. You just have to cycle to start them up. So don't start all three up at once. Just do one at a time and you can run all three, which is really nice. Right in here is going to be your wet bay. Super easy um, to navigate all the color coded, um, you know, whether you're doing city water, winterizing, dry camping, power fill, that's all right there. Very clear. I do love the fact that you've got the five gallon um, Jayco water system in here. So this is a water filtration system, or you know, if you like margarita mix, you can put that in here too. And it runs through your unit, through the filtration system in the fridge, giving you ice. And then it runs to the water filter that should be connected to your sink. When we go inside, I will show you that. Um, but that is a great Jayco exclusive feature. This is a zero degree, zero degree, zero degree climate controlled unit. So this has been tested in their facility from zero degrees up to 100 degrees and it has maintained temperature inside for over 24 hours. You can go on their website for more information, check out the tires, they have frost on them, they do all these reviews of it, but it is um, zero, de zero degree climate tested and you have a heated enclosed underbelly underneath there. So definitely good for all weather um, camping. This should be your access panel for the back of the residential fridge. I didn't unlock this before the video, but that's just for maintenance purposes, guys. Technicians need to get in there. You have an island in this unit, and if you can't access from the outside, that maintenance crew is gonna mess up your island when they pull that fridge back to if something happens to it and they have to figure out what's going on. So always great to have that on board. Um, back here, you have a, a black tank flush right here. You are, pre you are prepped for a SantaCon system, so if you want a macerator SantaCon system, it's an add-on option. It is pre-wired for that as well. Um, coming to the back here, you do have a fuel dispenser system. So you have a fuel station basically for your toys, which is really great on board. You bring a golf cart, you have to fill it up with fuel. You have your dirt bikes. You can just load them up and gas them up and enjoy your time out there. You don't have to go back to the gas station so much. Ladder here um, pops out to get on your roof. This is a Magnum truss roof system, just like every other Jayco uh, travel trailer that I've, sh I've talked to you guys about. 4,500 pound rating on that roof. It's a doozy and nobody else can beat it. Everybody else is gonna be about 2,000 pounds. Here is your patio. Now I do love for the patio package on the Seismic Luxury, it's gonna be standard that you get the um, Three Seasons patio doors that are removable. You also have the awning up above there. And I do wanna point out, um, as we come over to this side, Victor, one of the big features that you're gonna get now for 2023, if we come all the way around to the door, check that out, guys. You've got that little 
a nub on top of the door. Now usually that signifies what? It's a pre-wire for a backup camera. Why would I have one above the door, you ask? Well now for 2023, you can not only get um, backup and side view cameras, but you can get a security camera installed there. Really neat feature. You can bring that screen inside, um, you can plug it in, and you can access it in the bedroom. And I believe there's even a switch in there, and I think you can access the cameras on your TV in your bedroom, which is really cool. So new for 23, that's a great security feature that they've never had before, and I'm super excited about it. You can see even your auto leveling foot pads, super wide guys, because you are again a heavy unit and you want to be able to have that stability when it drops down and levels itself. Uh, last but not least on the exterior, I'll point out this central vac, which is really nice. So you can sweep it to the stairs or if you need to, you know, I don't know, dust out your car or your truck, dust out your toys, you have that right there for that as well. Step above steps, again, weightless. So one hand, super easy. I can let go and it's not um, gravity dependent. So a uh, zero gravity, anti-gravity stairs, woo hoo. You can just um, adjust them. They're four steps, super wide. You've got a nice big safety handle coming inside here. And this is what you are greeted with when you come into the 3512. So you've got this beautiful modern farmhouse colored uh, kitchen with an island in the center. You've got chocolate, bourbon chocolate is your accent color in the modern farmhouse. Now I love, Here's your filter, by the way, the water filter. You have a pull faucet. You have one big stainless steel sink. Now there should be a cover for this. I don't know where they stored it for travel, but there is a um, cover that goes over the sink for you. You've got a breakfast nook here, which is pretty nice. I do love all of this storage, which is great, right? Lots of shelves in here. And when you, up top, same thing. Now what's funny is they have this little, Air 360 wine guard gateway thing that says add to install, but I noticed that there is a gateway already installed in the bedroom. So this is going to give you um, an omnidirectional HDTV antenna, a Wi-Fi extender, and then with the gateway you can add a SIM card and you can control not only um, can you get a 4G hotspot on board, but if you are away from your unit and it has Wi-Fi and you have Wi-Fi, you can control some stuff wherever you are from your phone, which is really nice to like turn on the ACs before you head back to the campground or wherever you might be. It's really cool. Um, J Boyce is new too. So up in that, up in that, that should be for 2022, but that little nozzle, nozzle up there is gonna be kind of like an Alexa for your Jayco. So if I were to say, and let's see if it works. So you're gonna say, Jayco, interior lights. Did she respond? I don't think so. I don't even think she heard me. Hang on, let's try it again one more time. Jayco, interior lights. Yeah. Nice. And then Jayco, movie mode. See how they're dim? Yeah. Super cool. Jayco, interior lights. Oh, I guess when they're on movie mode, I gotta probably shut them off and turn them back on. Oh, now I gotta, I gotta bring them back up on my own. Anyway, we can do it and we can do it in dim. We can do the rest in dim. <laughs> so um, this is upgraded with the 21 cubic foot residential refrigerator. Like I said, you have the ice maker and water filter in the door, or like I said, margarita mix, if you really want that. Um, if that's the way you party, then uh, the Whirlpool fridge is massive. You also have like industrial home residential size appliances, right? So the Insignia four burner cooktop, large, large oven for a turkey because you know everybody's coming over for Thanksgiving in this thing and then a real residential microwave and it is convection in case anybody is wondering now right here Victor I don't know if you can get a good angle of that but that's your pantry it is not super deep however you can access it from top to bottom I know some floor plans like this is cut off for maintenance reasons and so it kind of like you see this pantry you think it's big and then it's really not that big so this one's a pretty good size you do oh I dropped my you are pre-wired for solar, so you can get solar panels and installed on the roof, and I think you are also prepped for a solar panel on the side if you want. Now, Entertainment Center is across from this large recliner sofa. All four of these recline with your TV trays, so it's super nice on the slide out here, and it's right across from this fireplace with your JBL speaker system and then your large, what do you think, that's like 42, 50 inch TV? So super large, um, should be a smart TV now. Oh, there you go. And there's your light above your loft area. So, of course, every kid wants to be up and tucked away. That is a loft that the children can fight over once you purchase your unit. Um, we'll go into the bedroom first, and then we'll go out to the toy hauler area. So, 
Shoe storage on the staircase. You have your central vac right there. And as I moved up the stairs, you see that light Victor went off because it's a, a motion sensor light for at night when you're, you know, relaxing and you have to use the restroom or you have to go get, a, you know, a 3 a.m. snacky snack. <laughs> okay, porcelain foot flush toilet. Again, this is the 35, uh, 3512 floor plan. Nice big bowl sink. I really like that deep bowl sink. They do this on the, um, I think it's on the North Point and the, and the Pinnacle as well. And I love these sinks because you can actually like get your hands in there. You have a little bit of like medicine cabinet storage almost because this mirror is just, um, you know, it just stays the way it is. And then there's a towel rack here, which is very industrial looking. And you have two more here as well as should be a pretty deep yeah linen closet you could stick like i could stick my whole hand in there now normally i'll get in the shower guys but because there's a lot of um winterization fluid i'll just have victor show you you have a teak wood seat one piece shower which is really nice one piece shower surround with the skylight and then you do have this nice fixture for your shower so there's a fixed head and then there's one that's retractable that you can move around and use and clean as you want i don't know if this also this might also just shoot water, yeah, it shoots water. right in my belly button because <laughs> that's what I want to do is wash my belly button out. Okay, so we're going to go into the master now. Now the master is a little tight on the 3512 with the king bed option, but this is what it feels like when you step in this space for the king bed, which is actually it's king bed standard, right? Yeah, standard. Queen is option. So on the queen, you'll pick up a second nightstand, but this is the king. It's kind of more towards the left side. Um, you know, whoever's on the left side, you got to slide out towards the door to use the restroom or you're jumping over the other person to get to this side of the, of the um, bedroom. But big nightstand here, you have some shelves on either side. There's a privacy, um, I don't know if it's electric or, oh, there's nothing here. No, it's right here. Shade, manual shade. There you go. So manual shade for privacy when you're sleeping at night. Seems like there's a little remote next to your bed that's for like all lights, which is really great. And then if, if Victor, if you want to turn around and show them right behind you is a little um, button that says security camera. And I'm pretty sure that switch may actually um, bring the security, either it turns it on or it brings it over to the TV. I'll have to find out more information on that and I'll let you guys know down below in the information section. This is the gateway I was talking about that you can add the 4G um, SIM card to so you have, excuse me, 4G on board. And then I think that's actually the, the thing to turn it on and off that's blinking on me. Little bit of dresser storage here, a couple of drawers, and then you've got your hanging closet. So storage in the bedroom is not huge on the 3512 guys, but you know, let's go head out and check out the 12 foot six inch garage down there. Here, I'll switch with you. I don't know why I was gonna say, we'll do the hokey pokey. That's not, that's not that song. <laughs> the musical chairs that's what i'm looking for okay so this entire space is 12 foot six from the wall all the way to the edge of the garage you do have these large um tie downs right your your d-rings for all of your toys you're bringing your side by side in here i do have to get the information for the height of this unit because i know that that's a big deal with the larger side by sides you can see that's the drop in third ac so that is just a standard coleman mock it is ducted um, but it's not a whisper quiet like the other two in the main um, living area. Now you do have your regular um, couches that come down, right? So you can have couches or you can have your first bed. You also have the happy jack system up there. So that bed will also come down. They are massive. I mean, you could sleep four adults comfortably in here on top of the two adults in the main living area. Oh, and actually one more in the loft. So you're looking at a total of what? Four, five, six, seven people that could use this unit. And seven people sleeping in here, you're gonna need an extra bathroom. So you've got this nice half bath. You have another porcelain foot flush toilet. You also have another little towel rack here for them. And then you've got a mirror and your little sink. Now, maybe you've got some taller folks on board that wanna use the restroom. This one would be better for them because the beds are gonna be longer. The height of this bathroom is also gonna be taller in the back for them. Now you're prepped for washer dryer. If you wanna have that on board, you can put that right in here, guys. And then up here, there is some, um, if you wanna come over and show them, some storage I don't know you gotta be a giant to get up there but um, and then you're prepped for a TV right here as well and that pretty much covers it oh gotta show the patio gotta show off the patio 
So this is probably one of the features people love about the toy haulers, right? The versatility of the garage. Maybe you don't have any toys, but maybe you're thinking of full timing or going seasonally and you want the kids to have their own room. Maybe you're gonna go work on the road and you want an actual office space in the back. There's so many options for the toy hauler, um, for the toy haulers and that's why people love them the only thing i will say that kind of bums me out about toy haulers is that a lot of people um, especially women like myself uh seem to lack and feel like they're missing out on the actual living space of the unit because we're because they're they're garage focused right so of course the 12 foot 6 garage means that it's eating into your actual living space so that's a little bit frustrating but other than that i think the seismic is beautiful there's a lot of features that come standard on this unit that nobody else has right i did go over the acs i went over the wi-fi i went over the climate shield i went over pretty much everything i don't think i missed i think i hit all of the all of the big options um, it's a beautiful unit and Jayco does a great job on their build. If you're familiar with my, pro my product reviews in, in past, they do the VBL, the vacuum bonded lamination system on their sidewalls. So super strong sidewalls, magnum truss roof system, all that jazz that comes on the other Jayco's they also have on this one. And you do have a two year interior warranty against the competition. So all in all, I think they've done a great job with this new seismic luxury series and I can't wait to see more of them on my lot. And that's all I've got. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy camping.